Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about how you can create an EC2 instance on the Windows machine. So in the previous videos I have shown you that how you can create an instance on uh, Ubuntu but in this video I'm going to talk about how you can create it on Windows. So this will be a simple video so let's go to the screen. As you can see here that I'm present in the AWS dashboard so inside it I will click on this EC2 instance. And currently you will see that there is no instance that is running. I can uh, directly launch it from here or I can click on this and after that uh, launch the instance from here. So let's name the instance like uh, the name of the instance will be Windows. Windows instance, right? And after that let's require a type that which operating system uh, that you want. So I will click on this Windows. And after that the instance type is not going to be t2 micro why because the t2 micro uh, the window will not be fit in the t2 micro instead you need to select uh, a larger uh, instance right so i will select the t2 medium so make sure to delete this if you have created it uh, it is just for the demo purpose but once you create this instance and use it make sure to delete it because it will uh, give you a bill right so it is not in free tire it is uh, it is in paid plan so after that, let's. Uh, uh, these are the uh, what you can say network settings like the subnets and all of these things. I have. So I don't want to uh, select them or update them. Instead, I will just click on this HTTP and HTTPS. And after that, let's uh, uh, enable the API. Assign auto assign enable API. And uh, let's. Uh, um, uh, the configure storage by default will be 30 GB, right? And uh, other advanced details I'm not going to be modifying. It is just the default uh, values that I have entered and that were previously entered. So let's click on the launch instance. So uh, make sure to select the existing key pair. So I have not uh, selected the key pair. So here you can see that this is the YouTube key that I uh, created. If you don't have the key pair, then make sure to click on this and uh, it will allow you to select another key. Uh, so yeah. But I have already created, so it will. Uh, this option is appearing to me. So let's click on this launch instance. So now it will take me some time in order to launch the instance and properly running. You can see here that this is launched, but it will take me some time in order to run this instance properly. Once it is running successfully, as you can see here, it is pending. Once it is running successfully, then I will be showing you the further steps. So now you can see here that this instance is running. And now let's click on this and after that let's click on this connect. So these are the public IP address, private IP address. So uh, let's click on this connect. And after that let's go over to the uh, RDB client. And once uh, the RDB client is uh, selected, let's download the remote desktop file. So the remote desktop file is uh, now uh, downloaded. Let's click on this. And once it is clicked, let's connect this. And after connecting, it will ask me the administrator password. So what's that administrator password will be? So basically, this is the password that will be required from me. So get password. As you can see here that it is asking from me to upload the, um, what you can say, the YouTube key pair. All right. So the YouTube key pair that uh, is present in my local machine, it is asking me to upload that, uh, that file. And once that file is uploaded, it will give me the password so that I can enter it here right so I can enter it here so let's uh, upload it mm. let's YouTube keep him and now let's uh, uh, decrypt the password and once the password is decrypted it will give me this password I copy it and paste it down here and okay now it will uh, give me this yes so let's click on this so now it will take me some time in order to open a new window uh, open machine uh, in this present machine and this machine is running on my EC2 instance. So yeah, as you can see here, there is another window. So it will take me some time in order to set this up. And once it is set up, then I can show you, right? So let's wait for it. Now you can see here that uh, this is running and uh, it is present uh, as my um, all the things are working fine. So let's click on this. No, let's uh, select this 
and let's write command prompt and you can see here that this is the host name uh, instance id private ip address public ip and all of these things are available here you can see now and i can also uh, configure it like i can also check it like whether it is fine ip config you can see here that this is the uh, ipv address and this is the private ip address that i can confirm it so 10 0 12 uh, 10.0.12.217 10.0.12.217 let's click on this now you can see here this is the instance uh, basically the instance that is running right so inside it, it there is a window so the public uh, private IP address is 10.0.12.217 so let's confirm it go to the instance or inside it let's click on this If I show you, like click on this, you can see that this is the private IP address that is uh, um, belonging to it, 10.0.12.217. So yeah, this is working fine and this is all about the Windows, uh, that how you can create an instance in your local machine by running the Windows instance in it. And once the Windows instance is created, it will be appeared like this. You can work on this you can uh, open the files in it like currently there is no that many files that are present in it but uh, yeah you have i uh, get the idea that how this thing will work right so if you want to close it then it will give you this uh, disconnection message that you want to close so okay now i want to i don't want to um, keep this up because it will uh, give me the bill or cost me money so i want to terminate it as early as possible because this is just for the demo purpose right so let's uh, connect this currently it is shutting down after some time it will be terminated so yeah this is all about the uh, what you can say the um, ec2 instance and how you can create it and uh, how you can create the windows instance in the um, uh, aws so yeah if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye